Fadumo and Helen are two refugees looking for a new place to call home. Each facing discrimination, they look to relocate, one to Tel Aviv and one to Berlin. The two women turn to social activism to assist women like themselves and aid the next generations to the to come. Efrat Shalom Danon and Gilly Danon's documentaries shows a contrast between Israeli and German immigration policies while shining a light on adversity and an unstable life controlled by government policy. Liebe Mitbürgerinnen und Mitbürger, dass es weltweit so viele Flüchtlinge gibt wie noch nie seit dem Zweiten Weltkrieg. Es ist selbstverständlich, dass wir ihnen helfen und Menschen aufnehmen, die bei uns zu Flucht suchen. You come to another country and all this is not there for you. No family, no friends, nobody's there for you. How many years you are here in Israel? Six years and a half. I start to think about myself, my daughter and my husband. It's scary, like, if they were going to start to put us, I don't have any way to go. הזכות של מדינת ישראל היא לשמור על גבולותיה ולהרחיק מתוכה מסתננים בלתי חוקיים. Now, for more on this, I'm joined in the studio by one of the creators, Gilly Danon, plus one of the stars of the film, Helen, who has fled her past life in Eritrea and now lives here in Tel Aviv. Thank you so much for joining us, both of you. Now, Gilly, I want to start with you. What made you want to make a documentary on this topic? Wow. <laughs> it's a good question. Um, to be honest, we started, we live from our, our home, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, there's a big community of uh, refugees, asylum seekers, and we felt we have to tell this story. And you know, it's a process. You start with one story, and then eventually we got to Helen's story. We started uh, volunteering, volunteering in uh, the community center, in Helen's center, and one thing led to another, and we felt, I put it in another way, as Israelis who live here, in Israel, we felt there was a story we must tell. It's part of our identity, part of the question of who are we, what do we want to be. So this is our motivations. And Helen, what wanted you to participate and be part, be a subject in this in this film? Um, like he, he told you, uh, his wife Efrat was volunteering in our the Eritrean Welcome Center, and when she asked me, I I I, I was thinking like. It will be it will be my document, you know, my story. It will be transferred for my generation, and it will gonna be a document for my my country, you know, how the peoples are suffering from out of the country because of our dictatorship government. Now, tell us a little bit about your journey, your story, and how you ended up here in Tel Aviv. Uh, like all Eritrean peoples, I ran away from the dictatorship of my country and I passed away all the deserts, like the Sinai Desert, and I arrived here in the, the Sarinim camp, and then I came to Tel Aviv and I met friends and I started a new life here. And how has it been uh, relocating to Tel Aviv? Did you find any struggles once you uh, moved here? And did you find it hard to integrate or pass through the bureaucracy or anything like that? At the beginning, when I arrived in Israel, I mean, I had uh, families, uncles, and here. So they wait me on the bus station and then they took me out. It was easy for me when you compare with the people who arrived before. So I was okay. That's and, great. Yeah. Oh, good. And Gilly, tell us, we're now, Helen is not the only star of this film. You also have Fadumo as well, who is based in Berlin. Now tell me about how you managed to uh, work her, her into the story. Okay, so we started with Helen in Israel, and then we understood there was a bigger story, like a bigger context to the story. And we felt that Germany could be a nice part of it, of the movie, because of the special bond, special uh, tragedy between the countries. And um, Fadumo came to Israel with a group of human activists. She's an activist, and there she met Helen, and there we met her. And we said, wow, she can be a really strong uh, character together with Helen. Both of them, they really, one of the amazing things was that when they met, they had like a really, a strong uh, emotional connection, which was great, for, was really moving. 
And one thing led to another, and we felt Fadumo and Helen, both, both of them, they tried to change the reality. They tried to do something for their community, not only for themselves, which we feel is, is part, of the part of the story, part of the solidarity between women. Uh, we wanted, you were asking again uh, before about uh, why we did it. We felt we, was, we wanted to tell a story of uh, feminine, feminine strong uh, characters. Now, a big, part, a big part of this film that you mentioned was talking about the contrast in the government policies between the two. Can you explain that a little bit for me? Okay, we have to go back a little bit. In uh, the beginning of the 50s, Israel and Germany signed uh, the Geneva Convention regarding the refugees after all that happened in the Second World War. And we wanted to uh, check this question, each country, where did they take it? So as we know, Israel took it to one, uh, to one side and Germany to the other side. Israel, as you know, you don't know, is doing everything in its power to deport uh, the asylum seekers in Israel. And Germany, on the other hand, is inviting them, yeah, is accepting them, and they're giving them, uh, let's put, they're giving them an option or maybe an horizon for, for a future, which Israel doesn't do. So this is like, I think, the big difference. But on the other end, one of the things we wanted to show in the movie, there is a lot of uh, resemblance between the stories, Helen's story and Fadumo's story. Because, you know, to leave your country, to come to a different uh, country, to start your life over. And all of us as Jewish Jews in Israel, we know it because it's part of our DNA, you know. Absolutely. Now, um, if someone wanted to see this film now, where can talk about where they can, where they can catch it? Okay, the film is uh, shown all over the country in uh, cinematics, in screenings. They can catch up uh, in our page. And uh, we want to share the message because it, we feel it's really important that people will see it. Because, you know, we, we, um, we show the movie to people that live in, the, in South Tel Aviv. They're not left wings, they're not the usual suspects of the movie. And they said that the people that are uh, for this movie, and they said, wow, we didn't know. We really didn't know the other side. It made us think about Helen's life, Fadumo's life, the, all the suffering they had to go through. And is there, if you were living outside of Israel right now, is there a chance that they might be able to get to catch this film in Ordinary Life too? Uh, yeah, we start, just started uh, distributing the film uh, all over the world and we, soon it's going to be shown all over the world. Beautiful. Now, Helen, since you've done the film, how have you felt about it? Give us your final, final take on things. Uh, I feel good. Uh, people give me a comment how they are touching by the film, how they are sad by the, the system of the Israeli government. So even if, even though this short film doesn't show how the, the refugees are suffering by lack of public service, how our children are separated from, I mean, how our, our children are, have a different, I mean, a separate school, which is only for refugees. Mm. Uh, how they have a lack of medicine, but I'm happy they, sh they can show the little bit of the refugees' Absolutely. difficulty and struggles. Well, Helen Kadana, you are an amazing woman for being involved in this, and Gilly Danon, you're also incredible for putting, bringing light to such an important topic. Thank you both so much for joining me. Thank you very so much. much. Thank you.